Don't touch that, that's evidence. It's my tie and I want it back. Okay, let's get our story straight. Okay. All right, so it started like any other day. Right. I woke up and we had to make sure we got to the mail room before we went to traffic court. Yep. Okay, so I got up, got in the shower, a little post-shower uh, ritual. I don't know why you do that. It doesn't matter, okay? So I put on my suit and I start making some breakfast. It smells good. Okay, so everything at this point is going according to plan, except then I realize something very important. We're late. Okay, so I come in and say, Michael, wake up. Right, and I groaned and I told you to go away. Right, and then I told you it was closing in two minutes. And then I got out of bed. Yeah, but you weren't fully clothed when you got but out th of bed. That really doesn't matter, okay? The important thing is, after we all got out of bed and got ready, we left the apartment. Fine. You're going to have to go put on a tie before we go to court, okay? you got to look nice and presentable. I look perfectly You're fine. You're never going to get out of a ticket unless you put a tie on. I look presentable. Well, you just go put on a tie. Fine. All right, so I go back in and I put on a tie. And you just make me wait out there forever. I, you didn't wait that long. Anyway. Really? What? It's the only tie I have. <laughs> Let's just go. What? Okay, so we left the building and head towards the mailroom then. Right. All right, so we get to the mailroom, and we got there right in time. Actually, it, it, it was closed. Right. Anyway. Anyway, but there was that guy there that offered his condolences. Right, I remember him. Tough break there, guys. No, 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 that's not how it happened. It happened more like this. A tough break there, guys. Oh, I'm so cool. And then I said, it's a nice day outside. Why don't you go take a hike? <laughs> I totally got him because it wasn't nice. Hey, day. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, nice burn. Whatever creeped me out anyway. By the way, nice tie. Love the season. See, some people appreciate the tie, Mike. Yeah, but it was that weird kind of nice that you're not too sure. Whatever, what happened next? Well, uh, oh, we got in the car and we headed to court. Right, and we're listening to rock. Classical rock, classical rock, classical. We were listening to rock and roll. Classical is soup for your soul. It doesn't matter. Watch out, hold on! What are you doing? You almost killed that guy. Pull over, man. Mike, get back in the car. We're gonna be late. No, we wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't put on that stupid tie. Do I, I never wanted to put this freaking tie on to begin with. <sighs> Next time you do that, better tell me. <sighs> Sorry, didn't tell you. Forgot. This is so typical, you damn. Ugh. Ugh. You know what, this is so typical, no, you. I don't no. even try and pay this. Uh, oh, this me. is all your fault, completely all Why your fault. Why would I even? Oh, no. you know, because you had to be a pretty boy and move and, and do your hair. And you got the parking lot. Oh, sorry, I, I can't even shut, shut up. Shut up. I all right, so I don't even care. I don't care. I'm going to have a Christmas time. All right, it's a Christmas Eve. All right, all right. You two are completely worthless. Leave. Great job today. Yeah, we are good citizens. We are two incredibly useful people. I think we just helped solve a crime. I think we did. I think okay. so. Let's, uh, go. let's go. Hey, there's some graffiti that needs painting over. You know, I actually feel good right now. I know, it feels, it feels great. Does your heart feel like